Dear Professor Ostriker, I apologize for not being able to make it on Saturday. Um, I am I will be leaving the country. So anyway, I have my strategic communication plan and I'm going to present it in this video. Um, I wish it would have been like a better presentation, but I don't have the proper equipment and facilities here at home. Okay, so my strategic communication plan is going to be on Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole is a company that designs, sources, and markets a range of fashion, footwear, handbags, and apparel. In 2011, the company sent out a tweet saying that mediums are in uproar in Cairo, and rumor is they heard our new spring collection is now available online. That tweet erupted in a PR crisis with like blog posts, articles, and tweets calling the company insensitive. Next, the company followed that tweet by another billboard, which basically said, shouldn't everyone be well read? And it also, the billboard included a, a link to a company site where um, people can engage in discussions. And at the bottom of the billboard, it basically said teachers' rights versus students' rights. So um, a bunch of public schools were very upset because they felt that the company was pitching students and teachers against one another. Um, what's really going on here is that the company has been aggressively promoting its brand by focusing more on provoking statements that get attention instead of actually showing the public that it understands the various issues that society is facing. Um, critics responded to that billboard saying, we can only hope the company's fashion sense is more sophisticated than its treatment of complicated educational and political issues. Um, I think that the main thing now is to create a crisis and reputation plan for Kenneth Cole. Basically, the company's reputation now is just that it actively promotes Kenneth Cole clothing and um, the company is all about making sure you look good no matter what's actually happening. So um, I feel like now what we need to do is make the audience aware that the company is socially responsible, empathetic, and aware. Um, how do we fix the company's image and how do we show our customers that we care is kind of like the central question that I came up with. So from my research and analysis, I found that in 2005, the company introduced a public service campaign tied to World's Aid Today and Kenneth Cole t-shirts read we all have AIDS. The picture's on the slide. Um, and that didn't go over too well. People didn't buy the shirts. Even though they used celebrity endorsements, people just did, couldn't relate to the message that Kenneth Cole was trying to deliver. So um, Mr. Kenneth said that people were not jumping at it, and that just speaks to the stigma of AIDS. But I also think that that had a lot to do with how um, the kind of messages that Kenneth Cole puts out. Um, and I feel like that's why we needed to create this crisis plan. So basically, um, I also looked at the company's, and the company's profits and sales per store. And those sales and profits were decreasing since 2005. So that was around the same time that the company started all its pun intended campaign slogan, slogans. Um, I also found that the company's political the company had a political campaign in 2011, which stated that gay people are allowed to get married. Next, they'll be allowed to vote and pay taxes. So um, that that billboard actually got a lot of positive responses because people felt that you know Kenneth Cole was siding with gay marriage, and you know it's about time that America was more open to gay marriage. And also, the company had another billboard concerning a concerning politics and it basically said are we suffering from electile dysfunction and that billboard as well also received um positive reviews so what i said was that we do not need to establish new sources because we'll use the platforms that we currently have the company has an awareness a w e a r n e s s foundation and um you know it's it markets itself on facebook twitter 
and it gets constant media coverage. So I just felt that if um, it would be better to use and more cost effective to use those platforms to rebrand the company's image. Um, I also said that, you know, we would watch for a change or improvements in sales, customer engagement and feedback statistics. So um, most of the information will be obtained from the PR, advertising fi and finance department. Okay, so Kenneth Cole's audience is basically um, all our stakeholders to whom the communications will be directed because they have a potential impact on the success or failure of the company. So the board of directors who are the decision makers, the investors who are people that have money to invest in the company and people that we're trying to gear towards, you know, funding for our company. Um, also our employees because these people are representing the company and helping meet our desired objectives. The um, Another very important aspect of our audience is obviously our buyers who are mostly between the ages of 20 to 40 and these are the people that actually have money to pu purchase our products. And media, media is also being considered and our competitors. So next. I said that um, since this advertising tactic has been going on for years now where um, Kenneth Cole uses like all these puns in their slogans and like pun slogans in their campaigns. Uh, I said that KC basically needs to focus more on what its audience wants as opposed to just being outspoken to, you know, have catchy statements. And the, the brand basically needs to show that it's socially conscious and socially responsible. So I was going to gather a team of PR professionals that will focus more on the company's charitable actions and its involvement with AIDS research because Kenneth Cole has been in involved in like funding and giving money to um, trying to find a cure for AIDS for a very long time now. And also we wanted to, we're also going to create more campaigns that will inspire and impact people positively using the Awareness Foundation. Next. The objectives basically here are to use social media to effectively reach customers, not alienate them. Like what happened on Twitter and on Facebook where Kenneth Cole lost a lot of followers. Um, also properly time our campaigns. So I feel like, you know, that campaign on Egypt, the uproar in Egypt, it might not have been as inappropriate if there weren't millions of people dying in the country at the time. Also, um, it would be good, another objective that would be good is for Kenneth Cole to choose more message appropriate topics for our brand campaigns. So our strategies is basically accepting responsibility for all our past faults, um, coming up with PR programs like events, blogger coverage, fashion editorials that will enhance the brand and push the KC Awareness Foundation to promote causes that will inspire individuals. Okay, next. Um, our message here is basically to distill stereotypes of Kenneth Cole's insensitive marketing strategy and show that an effort is actually being made to change. And the third message is to increase the number of people that are inspired and ident And the third thing we're trying to do is increase the number of people that are inspired and can identify with our brand. Our tactics are um, that Kenneth Cole has an extensive history of social activism. Just last year alone, the charitable organization gave a sizable donation to a college entrepreneurial mentoring program. And the clothing line also has, you know, the long-term commitment to supporting AIDS research. So these are the strengths that we're going to play on. The um, Another tactic was to basically, was based on the, my research and analysis that I talked about earlier, and basically come up with campaigns that our audience will react more positively to. And, you know, the positive feedback will also um, increase sales, brand loyalty, and, and boost our followership. Okay, so my timeline um, is going to be over a four-year span. It's here on the PowerPoint. Just basically, we're, like, how we're going to launch each campaign and how we're going to um, gauge feedback, sales, and how our company's reputation is improving or maybe staying the same. Next um, is measurement. We're going to use feedback from the Awareness Foundation to gauge how our audiences perceiving our campaigns. 
We're also going to monitor the increases or decreases in our followers followership on social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter. And the last thing we're going to do is look at patterns of sales and customer satisfaction with our brand. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate you letting me do this video presentation. Thank you very, very much.